Yo, what's up guys? In this easy After Effects tutorial, you will learn 10 unique and amazing looking text animations or text effects and yeah, as I said, they are super easy, beginner friendly and we don't need any plugins. So yeah, I'd say let's just go right into it. So yeah, just made a new composition and basically we have 10 layers without effects this time. And yeah, let's just go through them all together. And yeah, let's start with the first one, which as you can see is this yeah sneaky and cool looking text reveal effect. So let's yeah, select our first text layer. And for this one we just need one simple effect, which is called CC Twister, which you can find under transition. And yeah, just apply it and let's go to the beginning of this animation and change the backside to none. And now we can already animate this, so let's just bring up the value until the text is fully disappeared and put in a keyframe and then go to the end and bring this back to zero. And we already have this super simple but cool looking twist text reveal effect. And yeah, that's it for the first one. Let's take a look at the second one, which is this text in a sphere effect, which just rotates. And I also think this looks really cool. So, but again, it's just one effect, so you can just type in sphere and apply the CC sphere effect on this text. And yeah, let's change a few settings because this looks a bit weird. So first of all, let's change the radius and just make it bigger. And let's also bring up the ambient so it won't be that dark on the white side. So let's put in something like 50 in here. And we also don't want this whole sphere to be transparent, so let's also change the render type to outside, so we only see the outside of this sphere. And yeah, now we can see this doesn't move at all, so we just have to open up the rotation settings. And now we can just freely rotate the y-axis, so it just rotates Yeah, from the left to the right. We can of course keyframe this, and we'll get a cool looking result at the end, just like this. Okay, this is a bit fast maybe, but I think you get how this works. And yeah, let's go to the next one, which is the glitch effect. And again, this is just one super simple effect, but I think this one especially looks really cool and a bit more complex, but it's super easy. So we just have to apply the wave effect or the, exactly it's called the wave warp effect under the start. And now, as you can see, this looks a bit weird, so we actually have to, change, have to change a few settings. So first of all, let's change the wave type to noise. And we can already see this looks kind of glitchy. But yeah, let's just copy the settings from this one. So yeah, wave height 15 and whiteness 1. So let's put in 15 in here and 1 in here. And I'm quite sure the wave speed is also 0.1. And yeah, now we already have this yeah, glitch effect, but this is kind of funny. If we increase the direction angle by just one degree, we will get this glitch effect, which is also on the top and the bottom of the letters. And yeah, I think this one looks super cool. And yeah, it's already done. So let's take a look at the next one, which is this, yeah, how do you call it? I would say it's like a effect where the text looks like it's drawn a bit. So it's kind of smooth and just moves a bit. And yeah, this is super easy as well. And the only effect that we need for this one is called rough and edges. So we can just apply this and we we'll already see the edges are a bit, yeah, look at it like they are drawn, but we mostly want to increase the border to something like 20. So this effect will be more visible or even 25. And sometimes if you increase the border, it will get a little bit blurry around the edges. And yeah, to counter this, we can just increase the edge sharpness to yeah, something like two most of all should work. And now we can just animate this one. So we can go to the beginning, put in a keyframe at the evolution and go to the end and just keyframe the evolution a bit. And as you can see now, it just wobbles around and just looks yeah, really cool. And I really like this one and you can just use this in a, a lot of projects. And of course you have advanced settings like the complexity which you can turn up or turn down or the scale. So you can really try around with this one a lot. But yeah, let's go to the next one, 
which is this really cool looking particle and twist effect. And I think this one looks again kind of complex, but it's just one effect as well. So yeah, let's go right into it. So yeah, the effect that we need for this one is called Scatterize. So we can just type in Scatterize and uh, let's type it fully. And yeah, just apply CC Scatterize to this layer. And yeah, now you can see it Yeah, it doesn't do anything. So let's first of all increase the scatter a little bit to something like 10 maybe. Or maybe yeah, this is even too much, maybe something like 5. And yeah, now we can just animate the twist. So let's just go to the beginning and bring the twist up to a kind of high value. Put in a keyframe in here and go to the end and we can just bring it back to zero. And now we have this cool twist effect which untwists itself. But yeah, you have a lot of options in here, even though it's just these three settings. But for example, you could just go to the beginning and bring up the scatter to a high value and then go to the end and bring the scatter down to zero or something like that. And you could yeah, make a really cool looking yeah, text with the animation with this one. So just try yourself a bit. And yeah, let's take a look at the next one which is this old school broken TV effect or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, let's make this one real quick. So the first thing that we need is a noise effect. So let's just search for noise and make sure to have this one selected and just apply it and increase the amount a little bit to something like, oh no, actually we can quite <laughs> um, increase it a lot. And maybe uncheck the use color noise so we just have a more yeah, simple one. And yeah, this is cool. But yeah, in this example, we also have these little lines, which are also yes, made super easily. So just type in Venetian, Venetian lines, just like this, and increase the transition completion just a little bit, like yeah, 5% maybe, or even 3%, and change the direction angle to 90 degrees. And now we can see we have this, yeah, these little lines and the noise is um, yeah, automatically animated. So yeah, we're already done with this one. And let's go to the next one, which is the super simple but cool looking text reveal animation. So we have this light that will just come from the center and reveal the text. And yeah, super simple one as well. So let's just go right into it. And this one is just called light, something with light. It's called, um, where is it? CC light wipe. So just apply this one. And we want to check the reverse transition. So we will get a, yeah, animation in and not an yeah, animation out. So we can just go to the beginning and bring up the completion value. Yeah, so high. So it's, yeah, gone completely to 100% put in a keyframe and then just go to the end and bring this down until it's fully revealed. So it doesn't have to be zero, but just, yeah, until it's fully revealed. And as you can see, you get this cool looking, yeah, reveal animation. And yeah, the next one is again, a really simple reveal animation. And I think this effect will yeah, be familiar for most of you. So it's called the CC grid wipe effect, I think. Yeah, CC grid wipe. And yeah, by default, it already looks cool. So we just have to go to the beginning and bring the completion to 100. Put in a keyframe and go to the end and just bring it back to zero. And we already have this yeah cool text reveal, which is super yeah interesting looking. And yeah, let's go to the next one, which is this yeah 2D pixelated game effect. And yeah, I also think this is quite useful. So yeah, let's show our text layer. And yeah, first of all, we want to add a wave warp effect again. And yeah, but change the wave type to square so it will yeah, look more pixelated. And maybe we want to turn on the wave height a little bit to six and maybe yeah, change the direction angle to something like 60, just like this. And yeah, I think this already looks cool, but maybe we want a more pixelated effect. So we can just look in for mosaic and apply it. And yeah, we have to turn up the yeah, horizontal and vertical blocks so we can see more. So maybe put something in like 200 for both of these. 
And yeah, now we can see we have this super cool looking pixelated effect. And we can also check the sharp color setting if you want. But sometimes I think it looks better without this. But yeah, you can just yeah select whatever you like. And we already have this cool looking yeah pixelated game effect. And yeah, our last, last text effect is the this turbulent displacement effect. And this is super basic and you probably are familiar with this one as well. But this one has a lot of settings that you can try, so let's just go right into it. And yeah, the effect is, as you probably know, called Turbulent Displace. And by default it won't be animated, but again we can just yeah keyframe the evolution. And just move it a bit at the end, and now we have this cool wobbly text effect. But I think you can really play around with a lot of these settings. For example, you can turn up the complexity to 10, which is the highest value, and maybe turn on the size 30 or something. And yeah, now you have yeah a more detailed looking effect. So you can, yeah. This one is basically, it really depends on what you put in here. So yeah, you basically have a lot of options to play with, and I think you can get really cool results. But yeah, just try yourself and be creative. And I think this is already it. Yeah, we're done. We have made 10 really cool looking effects. And thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And yeah.